What's your name, bro? Jason. How'd you want to put him inside? How'd you like the event, Dre? I was good, man. Brought back some memories, man. <laughs> Space Jam. Mind Stars. Uh, you got the meeting, Jason? Of course, yeah. What's up, How's that like? I'm a regular guy, man. Uh, talk to him. You know, I talked to him before my fight. And, uh, he real, you know, he real close, man, to everybody that's in the, you know, in the brand, in the Jordan brand. So, yeah. That's pretty cool having the GOAT representing you. It's kind of crazy. Man. <laughs> yeah, like you get a text message like, sign MJ. That's a little, a little hard to digest, man. What'd you think about his acting? Did good. And that was, what, 20 years ago? He did good. I mean, Mike, you know, anything he does is going to be it's gonna be good, man. He's, he's a great. I mean, neither one of those are Jordan athletes, so I don't know. I heard Blake may be in it. That may make more sense. Let's get it. Come on. That may make more sense. Good to meet you, bro. Thank you, boss. All good. Appreciate baby. it. Bro, can you take a picture with me? By chat, by chat. Oh, sorry. Can you take a picture with me? Yeah, for sure. By chat, how do you want to get y'all in a second so we can get a good one? Uh, Ooh. Thanks. Okay. Y'all want to do something over there real quick? Big chunk of fun. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Hey man, do whatever you want to do. Okay. All right. You want a picture of yourself? Man? I'll tell you. Choose one. Choose one. Go ahead. Tay. You know this, bro? Tay. Y'all got it. Put everybody's name on it. Yeah. No, you said he wants to come over here and do an interview. Yeah, let's go. Just kind of hold it. I'm trying to let him do his thing. I'm just making sure nobody messes with him. I do it and send it to me. Can you send it to my yeah. table? Drew, uh, Drew D R E W. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you, man. Appreciate you coming out. Thank you. 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 Thank Andre, I got you. I got you. Actually, thanks. I can. Is it cool if I get a quick? Sure. Oh, shiny. Bro, I fucked up. My fault. Go get one, bro. Oh. Hey, could I use your pen? Hey, you. Huh? I'm, I'm going to do a No, you go ahead. Check it. 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 Thank you. 
I like it, yeah. <laughs> See you, buddy. Damn, there you go. Hey, Dre, you need to use the front of the step repeat, man? Uh-huh. Thank you, man. You have a good night. It took years to perfect that bad boy. Yeah, yeah. So that's that one in the I used to practice it, practice it at home, <laughs> over and over again. Who is it, Jason? Do you know when you got the right one? And I feel like probably the last year, I just started, like, really liking my signature. It's, it's perfect because you know you get a real signature. You can't really read it. You kind of get an idea of what it is. That's how you know. That's how you know it's right. What's the name again? Awesome. Hey, man. Hold on, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, picture yeah, 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 I hear y'all talking over there. <laughs> you know the rules. You know this ain't too thick, right? <laughs> I, 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 I ran like, like, like it was a wall. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. I thank you, bro. I appreciate you thinking about this. Let's get it. Let's get it. First of all, Dre, unified. Light heavyweight champion, man. Good, man. You had two weeks to soak it in. How do you feel? Man, I feel good, man. I, I earned it, bro. I earned it. Um, I never want to be on the canvas. I never want to, you know, taste the canvas. But the, the reality is, man, if you're going to fight for a long time and, you know, if you're going to be a champion, you know, you may not get dropped, but you're going to face some adversity. And the question is, what you going to do when you face it? And, uh, you know, it's my favorite fight because I showed something to the world that I've never shown before, which is, you know, having to, having to dig deep and come from behind. I mean, I've had to dig deep in, in, in every fight in some kind of capacity, but never from behind. I'm always up and, uh, you know, as tough as the fight was for both of us, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Since Andre, you take us. Think about it. How would you rate this moment? Yeah, I'm. I'm disappointed. Disappointed in this moment. Listen, man. Like it's no disrespect to him, but you know you got to realize, man, that you know I've learned a long time ago to. Uh, it was pretty much everything I said leading up to the fight. Like, you know, we're not gonna be enamored with, you know, the reputation. Like, you have to earn it, and. Um, you know, the knockdown was a flash knockdown. I mean, I literally, you know, smiled and got up and I was fine and, and probably got hit with harder shots throughout the course of the fight. Never stumbled, never backed up one time. So, you know, it's not what I thought it was. Great. You know, a lot of people, and we know this, are not going to give you a proper credit. There's still people that are trying yeah. to take it away. How you been handling You got a lot of support from the boxing community, but how you been handling that whole thing? I mean, you know what? Like, if it was probably like, you know, my first two, couple years in the sport, uh, it would be tough to deal with. But, you know, I've been I've been groomed for this. God, you know, took me through the early stages of my career, you know, the situation with the lawsuit and stuff like that and having to deal with that when I knew I was fighting for something that was right and, and it got twisted and, 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 you know, pushed in the media like it was a bad thing. Like, getting through that and maturing through that prepared me for this. Like, I'm not sweating it, you know. I'm, 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 I'm enjoying my victory. Uh, I'm not going to fall for the okie doke, you know, and, and have, you know, uh, uh, some opinions, you know, people's opinions feel like I didn't do what I, I did and didn't earn what I earned, you know, me and my team. Um, and the other key, man, is like, you know, I, I'm okay with people like, you know, some people feeling like I didn't win or whatever. That's their opinion. That's fine. Don't make it right. Don't make it wrong. I disagree. You know, there is such thing as, you know, uh, having a close fight with a clear victor. And I feel like that was me. I feel like I earned it. Um, but anybody crying, uh, screaming robbery or anything like that, they just went too far. Uh, especially seasoned boxing writers and seasoned boxing commentators. Anybody screaming a robbery, it went too far. And I think what that is, is, is they didn't think I was supposed to be standing at the end of that fight. Um, if you listen to the 
you know, if you read the articles that were written and listen to some of the commentary, he wasn't, I mean, everything was about the power and the strength. And, and I was a smaller man. I bit off too much and it just didn't happen. So I think in the post fight press conference, you kind of got a good, a good, a good view of what the majority of, of the media was thinking. Not all, but the majority of them. It was a lot of sad faces, man. Like, I'd never seen that. I mean, I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I'd never seen nothing like that in my whole career. Like, I, I, I playfully commented on it, but I sat there and I'm like, wow, like, visibly. That's telling you something. So, man, I'm enjoying it, bro. Like, I'm enjoying it. Did you get a chance to rewatch the fight and if so, man, I, I have it, man. Like my wife has watched it a bunch of times. She brought me her score. Like I still got, I got you in it. I'm like, I appreciate that. Family, friend. I mean, everybody's watched it three, four, five times. Like I haven't though. You know, I, I know what I, I was there. Like I know what happened. I, I'm, you know, um, I know what happened. You know, I was in that ring and and um, I try to get myself like you know, three or four weeks to kind of just get away from boxing. And it's hard because everywhere I go. People talking about it. I was in, you know, Whole Foods the other night, man, and asked a dude, hey, man, where's the saltine crackers? Whoa, I saw your fight, man. Hey, man, I, I thought you won that. I can't get away from it, you know, but I just try to, like, I try to get away mentally, man, because, like, I've had a long year. I haven't had three fights in a long time. It took a lot, took a lot of, you know, took a lot out of me physically. It took a lot out of me, you know, mentally, man, because I really, really go in and, and focus really, really, really strong, man, and, and like, really, like, push everything to the side and get focused for these fights. So six months out of the year, I've been in camp. So just trying to relax, man, and enjoy it um, and decompress a little bit. Andre, you, you said that. I don't know, man. We got to see. Andre, you said that we saw a necessary Andre Ward that night. Uh, what can we look forward to in the rematch? I don't know. I'm going to tell you like this. Uh, and explain that, actually. What, what do you mean by necessary, Andre? You know... You got to be what you got to be uh, in different fights, depending on the opponent, depending on the terrain. Like, if you're one dimensional, if you got one game plan, which he had, and I mean Kovalev, you saw the difference. And sometimes the difference is a point. Sometimes the difference is two points. Um, whatever I need to be in the moment, I try to be. You know, I don't always perfect it, but I try to be. If I got a brawl, if I got a fight, if I got a move, whatever it is, man, I try to be that. And I, and you know, I just, I'm just. What I meant by that was I showed a different side, you know. And and realistically, uh, at his age, like that's the best shape he can be in. He can't get in any better shape. You heard his team talk about, you know, he's finally listening to us. He's doing things in camp he's never done before. It took him 32 years old to to start listening to his team. That's saying something. And that means that he's had the best camp that he had. He went to Oxnard for the first time. He's never been away from camp like that. He normally trains in Florida. Uh, you know, he, he trains in a comfort zone. So he got away and, and, and gave everything for that. That's the best shape he can be in. And it wasn't enough that night. We took it to another gear and he wasn't able to match that gear. And, and that's the best Kovalev that you're going to see. And I don't believe that was the best Andre Ward you can see. I believe we have, you know, other levels to take it to. And, and if a rematch comes around, you know, you know, I feel like I unlocked something in the second half of that fight and I'm not going to forget that. And he knows that they can say whatever they want to say in the public. And I understand it. I'm not mad. Kathy do. She's doing her job. She's trying to get another check. What is he going to say? He's not going to give me my just do. Frotch didn't give me my just do. Kessler didn't give me my just do. No one does it seems like Dawson didn't give me my just do. So I don't expect him to give me my just do. That's the right thing to do is to tip your hat, but but he knows. We were in there. We felt each other. I know he knows what he felt and I know what I felt. And it's almost like it's an unspoken thing. Like you know, bro, you can say, but you know. He knows. Do you see it's kinda of like Floyd when he fought Castillo? He felt he won the fight. There was some doubt and he went and just cleared it up just to eliminate the doubt. Is that the predicament you feel you're in right now, Dre? Just I mean, to clear it up? I mean, you know, we can and I'm open to it, you know, but it's gotta be the right situation, you know. I mean, Kathy Kathy Duba is doing a lot of talking and she's supposed to. You know, she's long in the tooth, man. She's been she's been in the game of boxing for a long time. So she kinda knows how to, you know, try to manipulate the fans and try to manipulate the media. And we're purposely letting her talk right now because we're enjoying the holidays, you know, but my team, you know, Josh Duke and James Prince, they're working. They're doing what they got to do to get things in position. But I think Kathy has to realize that she's not on the A side right now. She's not, the, her fighter's not the champion. And things are different. So 
she can say she's exercising, you know, her rematch clause, and that's fine. But when we decide to come to the table, we'll see if it's right. But in order for me to get back in the ring, period, it has to make sense. Since it's on your okay, since it's on your terms now, do you have a, a timeline in mind? Nah, nah. I'm just enjoying the holidays and just trying to, you know, just just relax. I don't have any time frames, and you know, she seems to have the answers though. So we'll see what Kathy says, but you know, we're gonna put our heads together, man, and, and, and make a decision. But you know, the situation's got to be right. You know, I don't. You guys just look at my track record, man. I've never had a problem fighting anybody. This is no different. Um, you know, I like to talk, though. I like. It's unfortunate to see Kovalev kind of, you know, resorting to the stuff he's resorting to and saying the things that he said. I expected more from him. You know, this is a guy who, you know, came from another country. Um, the same thing that. He talked about in, in, in my fight and in, in, in the build up to the fight about coming here. You know, all the things that he said leading up to the fight about me being an American star. And this man has made a living here for I don't know how many years. And then all of a sudden, when one thing doesn't go his way, now they're against him. It just, you know, it's just, it, it, it's just not a good look on his part. You know, I think the Nevada State Athletic Commission did a tremendous job the whole week. You know, it's my first time dealing with them. I didn't know what to expect. They did a tremendous job the whole week. And I think people got to realize it's a unanimous decision whether it's one point or whether it's five points and to say that all three judges got it wrong i don't know what do you have to do to to clear it up like you know what i mean so that you don't have this issue my next mind time. is clear bro no I'm, I'm sorry for like the fans i mean obviously. in my mind in my mind is clear because you got to realize something we're 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 highlighting the fans that, that that may disagree with the decision but bro i couldn't tell you the amount of fans that 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 said but i had you up by two i had you up by a point man you have man like it's easy to focus on the one element, man, but you got to focus on the other. There's more people saying that they rock with me and that, man, you pulled it out. And I couldn't tell you the amount of people I've run into, whether it's business people, uh, fighters, like people that's really like, bro, like that inspired me, dude. And I'm like, man, I'm just doing my job. And they're like, dude, and they explained to me for 15 minutes why that fight and getting up and facing a guy that nobody thought I could beat and, and, and not quitting. And like, it's a special fight, man. And I'm not going to let the boxing media or any media try to twist it um, they can do what they want to do. I'm not going to address all this stuff individually, but I'm saying personally, they're not going to, I'm not falling for the okie doke, man. It's a tremendous victory, man. And if it was somebody that they rocked with and, and, and loved and liked, they'd be said, oh, it's the greatest comeback in boxing history. But I understand the element that I'm dealing with is fine. It's okay. They can write and say what they want. It doesn't change the course of history. It doesn't change my legacy. And it's not going to change my demeanor toward the sport. I'm not bitter at them. I'm not angry. I expect that. I expect it. God bless him. Enjoy your Christmas. And with all due respect, man, I'm waiting on my belts to come in the mail, man. I'm trying to get my belts. I want to I wanna feel them and touch them. So it's all good. <laughs> what do you think about Conor McGregor getting a license? Con Conor McGregor getting a boxing man, license? I don't everybody's know. talking, everybody's I talking don't about know. it. What do you think? Did you say Nate Diaz and Nick Diaz had hands? Can Conor McGregor make the transition into boxing? I can't no. say, man. I you know, I'm not, I don't know. I don't think he needs to mess with Floyd Mayweather. I think that's clear. In a boxing ring. I mean, come on. But, you know, I, I like what Conor's doing, man. Even if he doesn't fight, you know, he just by him getting the license is, is getting people talking. So, you know, he's strategic with what he's doing. You got to respect it. Whether he fights or not, we're talking about it, you know. So, and this is this is obviously boxing family. This is MMA. So he's doing the right thing, man. Keeping his name out there. It's hard for them to do that transition, though. Yeah. You know more than anybody what it takes for him yeah, to be different. a boxer. It's different, you know, because this, you know, he, he, I don't, he, I mean, I don't know what he looks like in the gym if he, if he, you know, does straight stand up for long periods of time, but it's different because you'll see him in a, you know, in the octagon and he'll punch a few times, he'll kick, you know, he'll wrestle like you can't do that, and that's his instinct just to, you know, go to other other arts and other things, and he's just not going to be able to do that in the boxing ring, especially against a, a really really good fighter. So we'll see. You're a manager now, I think. Steven Shakur, you guys signed him. <laughs> Talk to me about that. How do you like that? Uh, I mean, it's just. It's a great opportunity, man. You know, I've, I've known Shakur for many, many years, and um, you know, I've I wasn't planning on getting into sport like that. You know, I kind of didn't know how I wanted to get involved, and that situation kind of fell in my lap. And um, I just want to help, man. You know, he's got a great team around him. You know, myself, James Prince, and Josh Dubin. Like, he's got the pinnacle of my team at the start of his career, so he's starting off a lot better than I did, and. You know, we don't have no union, man. We have no stability in boxing. And, and, you know, guys get into the sport. They have no classes to teach them how to manage their money. You know, it's all about making it, but not about how to manage it and save it. 
and then we wonder why you know a lot of us end up broken without nothing at the end of our careers and, and you know my job with Shakur is to help him as much as I've got something to show for it. not just legacy not just fights but you know just his monetary situation you know his spiritual situation as a young man and just maturing the way he's supposed to mature it's not just about the fighters it's about Shakur the man so that's what we're all focused on Thank you so much, Andrew. Appreciate y'all coming out, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate y'all.